you all, Sunday the 6th of August 2017, you're here with Dan in Essex UK. So for those of you who've been following my channel for a while, you will see that I've taken off the netting from the brassicas here. The reasons for this are the fact that uh, many cabbage white butterflies have got through already, they were continuing to get through, so I thought I'd just uh, take it away to make it easier for me to manually pull them off. So let me show you what's going on. Now, you can see the butterfly down here, look, see that fluttering around. didn't get it but it's gone anyway so you can see the damage is quite considerable in places not so bad in others I mean the purple sprouted broccoli here this got it the worst and a uh, bit of a crop on here I might to uh, harvest this and uh, cook some of it up for Sunday dinner but uh, there you go Fates blue curled kale doesn't seem to get it as bad it does get it, they do eat it, but they don't seem to like it as much as they do purple sprouting broccoli and it's a different sort of caterpillar there, look. See that? Take that off. Yeah, so they seem to like purple sprouting broccoli and Brussels sprouts the best. You can see the little sprouts are starting to form here. Now, you got more. It's the eggs, look. rub them off. See? Being vigilant and I've got a little bit more time on my hands now so I'm gonna just go around and take yeah, rub the eggs off and things like that. But I'm uh, not gonna give up on this crop. This has happened to me many times before. I've been reading on some of the uh, gardening forums some people get rather despondent at this and it is easy to do so. You know you see your crop devoured like another butterfly there look so here I've had a cabbage off of here this morning just going to cut that up and have some of it with dinner this is um, golden acre cabbage another cabbage here cabbage here you see they've uh, all been under attack and the caterpillars I just saw one there look a small one so what I'm doing is I'm just manually going around taking these off. Now, I know you can get spray for this sort of thing, but I'm not really... Oh, go, big old boy. Look at that. Come here, you. Yeah, I know you can get uh, spray for this sort of thing, but uh, that's not a road that I want to go down. And yeah, I don't have a 100% organic diet. I'm not going to start going on about all that when I don't uh, practice what I preach. But at the same time, I don't want to start spraying crops that I grow myself because it's just not a road that I want to I want to go down but uh, these things certainly are a problem but at the same time when you're growing stuff that one look see these are the worst because they see that look they get in with you they blend in with your cabbages and I think they're more destructive as well than ones because these ones here, in my experience, they stay on the outer leaves. Whereas the other ones, I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, they'll go right into the heart of the cabbage and destroy it. But uh, these things are sent to try us. Like that, look, you see, a big clump of baby ones. These things are sent to try us, and I believe that this crop, <clears throat> or at least a lot of it, will recover. Because they tend to be active until around October, weather, depending on the weather. And it's August now, so if I can just keep this going to at least a sort of okay standard, so they don't get too smashed up. Once again, this sort of, this kale here, they don't seem to attack that just as bad, although they they do, obviously, but as I stated before, the worst it tends to get it, things like purple sprout and broccoli, and the Brussels sprouts. <clears throat> I'm wondering if that's simply because, excuse me, <clears throat> if the plants, because they're higher, they go for them first. <clears throat> but yeah, if you've got this problem, don't get despondent. You've obviously got options. Some people spray, 
size of that one, look, you're coming off. Some people spray, <coughs> some people pull them off like I do. I mean, the best thing you could do is to just cover them up properly so it doesn't happen, but to, you know, they are determined and you'll see them trying to wriggle through all sorts of uh, nets and stuff. I mean, they're absolutely, everywhere you go, they're absolutely everywhere. So, if you fancy a Sunday afternoon job, come here you. Fancy a Sunday afternoon job and you're growing brassicas. You may consider pulling them off yourself, because literally everywhere you go, you truly will see them. If they've got through. I suppose I should advise you all to wear gloves whilst you're doing this. I don't bother. So yeah, my guess is what I want to happen is if I can just keep this infestation like this, not too bad up until November, and then I hope for some warmish weather, which we all hope for obviously, over the late autumn winter period then they should be able to recover. I'll be doing regular updates on this so you guys can see just uh, what's going on because <coughs> I was reading one of the forums and someone was saying that they were, con they were considering to stop growing brassicas forever which of course is a shame because they do provide some good food during the winter months and well into the spring if you get them in at the right time so you don't want to be given up just find ways around it you know and if it means you have to pull them off by hand then it means you have to pull them off by hand but if you think of the time that you've taken to grow them from seed as I have here you know you spent a lot of time and obviously you I know they're not particularly expensive but you've you've paid for the seed as well, so the time in which you've sown them and growing conditions, watering them, etc. You might as well do your bit to save them. Because at the end of the day, these have been put here for a reason, these caterpillars. And uh, you have to accept that when you're gardening or allotmenteering, growing your own, that you're not the only one that wants to eat what you've grown because they want it as well so that's another challenge for you they better go to the pack choy as well down here but uh, if you and the best thing that they do for you as well to say thanks for their meal is they then proceed to uh, what's the term defecate all over your crop like that so make sure you wash thoroughly. Okay, I'm going to carry on with a bit more of this pulling off caterpillars. Happy Sunday. Speak soon.